Welcome to another All-22 Tuesday, week two of the season, as we take a look at some plays from this past weekend. All-22 is a collaboration between First Down Playbook, the Coaching Coordinator Podcast, the Scouting Academy, and FNF Coaches. We're going to take a look at a pair of plays here down on the goal line from the Patriots-Seahawks game. And the first one is a touchdown earlier in the game for Cam Newton. Uh, we're going to see in this video they're going to run some gap schemes here and really do a nice job getting him into the end zone. Yeah, they did. And this this right here, you don't see a touchdown on, in the, you know, the goal line area that's you know uncontested like this one pretty much was. I mean, you've got the pulling guard. He 42 has no chance. I mean, there's no chance to wrong arm it. There's no chance to to take it low. Uh, 857, the linebacker ends up getting doubled with the the back coming across, doubling with the tight end, and everybody else has got down down. And 54 slips through a little bit late, but uh, yeah, this is the way you draw it up right here. So let's take a look at uh, the good half of this when you're talking about the Patriots, and we'll go back and look at the second time they ran it here in a little bit. Yeah, I think when you just look at this, this play right here, and they do a good job moving people around, um, getting the gaps where they want them to. You know, Chris Collinsworth made a, a point. Uh, I can't remember if it was on this touchdown or, or uh, at a different point in the game, but, you know, typically you get down here, you take your quarterback. If he's going to run the ball, it's going to be a quarterback sneak right over the goal line. But you got a guy like Cam Newton. Now, uh, you know, you can run across that entire front. You can get to the outside. It opens up so many possibilities here for your quarterback, and, you know, especially a guy who's a big runner like Cam. Yeah, they dressed it up. And one of the things that we'll talk about here, the second part of it, Keith, uh, is that, you know, my, my time in the NFL and, you know, being a tight end coach, working closely, obviously, with the offensive line coach in the run game when it got to short yardage goal line. It, it was always amazing to me how we, we were determined we were going to run behind certain people. And, uh, you know, and, and I get it because at the end of the day, you don't want to look at your players and go, we, you know, we didn't trust our, our best players on their best players. But, but I, I do believe the defense understands that a little bit too. But right here, I mean, you start looking at, you've got double teams, you got a yeah. double team. That poor three technique has no chance. Oh, that, that deuce block is beautiful. You see high leg by both of those guys. No doubt. That's exactly the way it's coached uh, inside. And then you end up with a double team with that tight end and 47. So you got double teams at the point of attack. And once again, there's no chance for a wrong arm when it's pulling guard at all. So now watch 54 here. That's going to come into play. The middle linebacker. He gets through, which is kind of amazing. He gets through, but can't actually get to make the play. And we'll watch the second half of that here in a second. Well, Charlie, on this next play, it's the last play of the game and a very similar type of play. Uh, they're trying to do basically the same type of thing. Now, this one looks a little bit more like uh, a power where that last one was more of a, a counter um, action as far as the blocking scheme goes. Uh, in this case, you know, you're going to see that, that guy wrap tighter here rather than kick out. You're going to get the kick out from the fullback. But... Uh, I think what you see a lot different here is the guy off the edge really going to penetrate into the backfield and clog this thing up. I mean, it, it, it's to the point where you think, well, you know, you just log that thing and get to the outside. But it, it happens, bang, bang, and you see Cam Newton get upended here and Seattle wins the game on this play. Yeah, Keith, you're exactly right. I mean, you look at it, you know, when you have the clicker in your hands, running back and forth, you go, well, Newton could have bounced that thing outside, but – that's not the way these plays hit. And, and after the first time that they ran it, and you're right, it was more of a counter uh, scheme the first time because 47 came from the back side. But essentially, the personnel who's blocking who, pretty much identical. So I've, what I've done here is I've tried to highlight the things, and we'll obviously see it on the video. 42 this time uh, ends up on 47. And, I mean, just takes his – really takes his knees out. And you've got everybody, you know, Seattle once again, and, and I think you uh, mentioned yesterday when we talked that Pete Carroll uh, said they thought it was coming and they slanted it to it. And, and that, that really ruins everything. The point I do want to watch here, I pointed out 54 the last time, he gets through this time and eats up the puller. So you don't even get big 69 over there. He has to turn back around and, and seal up the penetration. And uh, what a way for Seattle to finish the ball game up. Let's take a look at it here. 
I mean, there's no question where they're going. I know when, when I saw them set up in this formation, I'm like, they're going back to that same side again. They're running behind those guys. And, uh, I mean, it makes sense. It was easy the last time. But, uh, you know, it's always about who gets the chalk last. And Seattle did a great job here with the chalk. You see, the difference here is, you know, the last time that guy hung out on the edge, I don't know if he was expecting Cam to pull up and throw the football. Uh, but right now, they're, they're selling out to the run. That is a violent play right here. We're, you look at how he took on that guard the last time, how he's taken on 47. I mean, that is not fun when somebody comes, takes your knees out. Now, let's watch, let's watch the Mike linebacker and the puller this time, too. So here's the puller. Would help to get that big old guy over there in front of you, but he never gets a chance to get there because he has to turn back and take 54, or really 54 kind of takes him, the backer, but not good. You know, you look at 85, same block, probably just as good as, if not better than the last time. But once again, everybody slanting to the football here, to the play. And uh, that's you get the movement too, Charlie, of, you know, we saw that nice deuce block right there with, with uh, the garden tackle. Now this time, instead of trying to play right into that gap, that guy's actually, you see him looping to the mm -hmm. outside there. And now 76 can't get a piece of him. 62 tries to high leg into it, but he's, he's gone. So probably, you know, not great footwork there by, uh, by 76. And it allows that guy, you know, to be, become part of this play too. Be sure to join us each week throughout the NFL season for All-22 Tuesday. All-22 Tuesday is brought to you by First Down Playbook, the number one football playbook tool for coaches at all levels of football. Edit any of our 35,000 plays or draw your own from scratch. All plays come with detailed coaching points and player assignments for every position. Keith Grabowski is the host of Coach and Coordinator Podcast. He interviews the most knowledgeable head coaches, coordinators, and position coaches from professional, college, and high school football. Keith and his guests discuss the philosophy, concepts, schemes, and strategies that they have learned throughout their careers. The Scouting Academy teaches you how to scout like a pro. Learn from NFL executives and coaches about the process of scouting from your home on your schedule. The Scouting Academy has 40 alumni with NFL opportunities and over 130 in college football. Friday Night Football Coaches is the platform for high school football coaches. FNF Coaches delivers content to the high school football coaching community through its website, print magazine, and other digital platforms. Links to all websites can be found in the description of this video. Thank you for joining us for this week's All 22 Tuesday, and we will see you next week.